Hello fellow gamers and welcome to a new video. Today I've asked my lovely wife Lizzie, or LD Shadow Lady, to join me for a bit of a fun challenge. I'm going to build two identical boring houses and then we're both going to each improve them. However, being the lovely husband I am, I've decided to give myself a massive selection of mods to help me build. And Lizzie, well, Lizzie has to stick to vanilla Minecraft. Sorry, sorry, Lizzie. But oh well, too late now. Let's kill this chicken and get on with the video. So I went and built a very basic, simple house for us both to upgrade. I just made it out of some oak planks, just standard oak logs, and decorated it very minimalistly, not using anything too crazy. I'll give you a quick tour of it, but there's really not much that inside, to be honest. Hey, look, there's me. So inside, we've got just an enchanting area over here with a chest on it, some more chests, a bed, anvil, furnace and crafting table. Very basic, boring house. So we're gonna start off by watching what Lizzie does to the house. Firstly, she raises it up entirely, adds a little garden on the front, and you'll see she changes it up quite a lot throughout this build. In fact, it looks quite different at the start here as to how it looks finally at the end. She changes the roof a couple of times and adds some of the little bits of stuff in, bigger windows and stuff, before finally reverting back to changing it to not too different from the original house, although the logs are now of a different color. She also built this custom spruce tree on the side here, added in a few bookshelves and stuff, and actually changed the logs back to a standard oak again. She went through a lot of different changes while building this. I think we both do it at some points, although Lizzie a bit more than I did. And you'll see that she's building stuff inside, such as a basement. She'll be explaining this all shortly, and a top floor as well, where she is adding loads of cute little things in, which we will have a look at in more detail a bit later on during the video. But she's adding a load of different stuff in to finally finish off the house. And now it's time to see how I adapted this house using mods. So I started off using World Edit to change the blocks entirely to brick, and I also added this little front bit and changed the roof slightly as well. I kept all the windows in the same place apart from making a couple a bit thinner on the front of the house. And then using the chisel and bits mod plus some various other mods, I made some custom windows, a custom roof, and also some other custom little bits as well. I completely changed all the walls on the inside to be green. I changed the floor to mangrove wood from the Binds of Plenty mod, added these vines on on the outside, and decorated the garden with a few modded different things as well. I use the Mr. Crayfish mod mainly for the decorating of the stuff outside, including the hedge that you can see going round. But inside here you can see that I changed all the walls to green stained planks. I did this by using the chisel and bits mod and just adding onto the wall and replacing the block just on the inside. Now I wasn't as wise as Lizzie and didn't add a basement in, so my room looks a bit cramped which is a bit of a shame. However, I did manage to fit quite a lot of stuff in there even if it is a bit too much in some places. So Lizzie and I have finished building now, neither of us have seen each other's builds. Actually, that's a lie. I just saw a little bit of Joel's and I'm worried that we've gone really similar. Okay, well, we'll see, we'll see. So we're gonna look at Lizzie's build first. I am excited to see the unmodded upgrades. Uh, I don't like to call it unmodded. I like to say vanilla. Okay, vanilla, sorry. And, oh, okay. All right, no, I don't think we've gone similar whatsoever. Apart... Um, I think the trees is what's making me think it's similar. And mine looks really pathetic next to your huge forest. <laughs> no, that's not true, that's not true. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got, ooh. I built it on an island. Nice, very cute, very cute, I like it. Yeah, I built this tree by hand, it is vanilla. Yeah, I can see that, that looks cool. I like it, it's a nice, nice big old spruce tree. And then we've got like a little dock bit here, the small, yeah. smallest dock you possibly would ever need. Yeah, you honestly, across. you could probably like leap across if yeah. you were really talented. But you've also got these lily pads, which I like. These are cute for hopping across the water. Yes. Except I'm terrible at jumping and I can't In do it. In case you're well. scared of boats. Okay, so talk me through what you've done. So first of all, I raised up the house a little bit to kind of bring it off the ground because nice. I didn't want to add a second floor. In the usual way, I wanted to add a basement instead. So Ooh, okay. first of all, we have a doorbell. Uh -oh. oh. Did you see it before I broke it? Yeah, I heard it ding as well. Definitely <laughs> heard it ding. Uh, it's just that, um, yeah, you broke it. I did see it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that again. Okay. So the doorbell's broken. That's out of order. Um, but we do out here. I went for some very vanilla decorations. We got some shutters on the windows, nice. some window sills, and some plant pots, which are vanilla. Are these doors? Oh yeah, they are. Cool. I like yeah. that. Yeah. 
Um, so on the inside, it looks kind of similar to before. Ooh. I kept the kind of same layout. We'll start in the kitchen. Nice. Oh, I like the heads. The heads are cute. What is yeah, that? Yeah, like Minecraft heads are vanilla. Go to minecraft-heads.com and you can get so many heads to put into your world which decorate it. So I got a little crock pot here to go on top of the furnace. Nice. And this is a jar of jam. Oh, that's cute. I love the jar of the jam. Jar of the jam? Jar of jam. It's very yeah. cute. And I don't have any cute custom paintings or anything, so I kind of have to make my own. I went with the very typical keep calm and cook fish nice. sign. <laughs> very, very, very typical. <laughs> very typical English person kitchen. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. I like that. And oh, I like the little lamp you've got coming from the ceiling here. That's cute as well. Yeah, that's my chandelier. Nice. And some got like, a little cute area over here, like a globe and some a plant pot. That's very cute. Yeah, I like this that. This is my crafting area. Now, I didn't want to put in a chair because in vanilla, you can't sit that's in a true. chair so that kind of pointless. I also thought about putting in a TV and I thought that's also pointless <laughs> because it would be really boring to watch a Minecraft head. This is the crafting area. The crafting is all the fun you need in this lounge area. Very nice, very nice. Upstairs. Upstairs, ooh. Yeah, Aww. this is where I sleep and I sleep only. There is no room for anybody else and no sleepovers here at all. I'm surprised I didn't build a bunk bed, honestly. I've just realized I haven't done that and I am <laughs> Feeling a lot of regret. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cute though. I like this. The books, you got the cacti, you got the little clock as well. Very cute. Yep. I like it. And what do you think about this? Ah, that's cool. It's like, what is it? It's like, what is it meant a to be? A lava lamp. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> All right. And then you've got the basement. The final bit of the house is the basement. Now, I went really, really basementy, honestly, with yeah. this. We've got all the tools that you find in a Whoa. basement that never get used. Over here, we've got like a little workshop where I'm working on a cart right now, nice, trying nice. to repair it. <laughs> There's a lot of cobwebs because somebody doesn't clean out the basement when they should. Of course. Over here, this is my creme de la resistance. That's not right, is it? Peace de la resistance. Is that right? Um, creme de la creme. Okay, is it the, the fact- This is the cherry on top of the cake is that the ceiling is dripping and we've got a bucket here to collect it. And because of the dripping, it's caused a bit of mold and fungi oh. to grow in the area. So that's pretty gross. Nice, nice Oh, and somebody nice. left this plant down here that's... and it died. Wow, your house is not just a house, it's a story as well. That's what I love about <laughs> it. There's like a whole backstory. You've written a backstory for your house, Lizzie. I have, I really have. Nice, nice. And you've got an enchanting area as well. You fit this in, that looks cool. I like that. Yeah, this is my basement enchanting area because let's face it enchanting is kind of witchcraft and people don't really usually publicize the fact that they are into witchcraft they want to keep it yeah. secret in their basement so here we are More in story. my witchcraft basement i love it very good I, you've done a really good job i love this this is really cute i, I love the story i love the. it's got a real <laughs> homely feeling to it you know it's not just like you've slapped some stuff together you've actually thought about this stuff and i like that yeah thank you so there we go. That is the vanilla house. Oh, I just noticed the little chimney on top as well. Very yep, cute. coming out of the bedroom because yeah. there's a lot of cooking going on in there. Are you ready to see my version? I'm scared because it's going to be way better than mine. Okay, well, it's modded, so I had a lot more options for things I could do. So if you'd like to follow me through the Gotta path get here. get through the forest. Oh, this is cute. So I've completely changed it up, like, to Oh, brick. wait, 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 wait. This is not even the same house. It is what the is same this? house. Look, this bit here is, if you look from the side, I've just added this little roof bit on top. Yeah. No, it's, it's a different house. It's the same house. It's got the same layout. So just add a little bit okay, on the tell front. Tell me the story. Tell me the story of this house. How did you go from that ugly hut to this brick three-story home? Have you heard of Grand Designs? The TV show. They came <laughs> so, to my house and they did it up for me. Oh, really? So you didn't even do this? Mm, I, well, I did actually do it, yeah. I, I, was, I was lying then. I actually made this house. So welcome okay, to the I'm, house. I'm only being mean because I'm really jealous because the flowers look really amazing. How did you do that? Thank you. It's uh, the chisel and bits mod, of course. A bit nice little bit of vinery, <sighs> bit of vinery. So we're outside so first, Liz. We've got a nice little garden. We've got a pond over here with a bench. You can actually sit on the bench, so... And, Relax. Because it's modded. Yeah, and chill out in front of the pond. And we've also got a little barbecue area over here where we've got a little bench for eating and then a barbecue as well to cook some oh stuff Oh my on, gosh. Which is very cute. And wow. then we've got a pool around the back. I'll dive in. <gasps> Woo! This is so cool. Oh my gosh, you actually dive off yeah, the diving board. Yeah, it bounces. Mark. 
Wee! And then if you wow. love bouncing, you're going to love the next part, which is, of course, the trampoline. <gasps> no way! Yeah, so we can just bounce okay, up and down. Okay, modded wins. Video <laughs> over. <laughs> so if you'd like to head inside now, because that's basically it for the outside. We've got some nice vinery heading up the side of the house, making it look very pretty. I made some custom windows using the chisel and bits mod as well, which is why I got this like sort of diamond window up here as well. You know, I thought I'd done pretty well until I saw this place. You've done well. I love yours. Yours is good. And then we've got a nice little. Really well. <laughs> Shut up. We've got a welcome mat saying welcome home. And then inside, you you made a wise choice by making a basement. I uh, <laughs> I kind of ran out of space, but you will notice that inside it is a different color to the outside. We've got green walls on the inside. Oh so yeah, brick. So we've, no brick. Yeah, it would be kind of weird to have brick on the inside. Yeah, exactly, so I've changed it to green. We've got like a nice little crafting area over here. We've got a furnaces, anvil, a picture of Mary, of course. So when you're smithing on your anvil, you've got something cute to look at. Um, I mean, I don't want to pick at things here, but it is kind of weird to walk in and have the fridge right here. I thought it was nice, because you know when you're outside, it's really hot and you're like, oh, I could do with a tasty, fresh, cold beverage. Run inside to the fridge quickly, straight back out. You don't have to miss a second of sunbathing. I also heard that there were some kind of building regulations about placing the fridge this close to the cooker. Right, yeah, well, that's probably a, a flaw. We didn't have much space, so, um, <laughs> yeah. But th there is an oven, uh, which you can cook some food in. You, we've also got some furnaces here for some smelting. Do you just take a cookie? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay, I'll take a cookie. Oh, you took it as well. Oh, uh, you've taken them all. Uh, and then over here, we have actually got a television and a couch, so you can sit Can down. you watch this TV? Yeah, you can. Uh, <gasps> I don't know how well, you do it. that makes sense, then. Never mind, the TV does not work, so we'll just leave it on fail to download file. But you can get it to work if you are smart at technology than I, I love am. this channel. This is my favorite. Yeah, we'll turn the TV off right now. I wonder how the season finale is going to end. Yeah, but you can also use this as a bit of space to like store stuff <gasps> as well. They all work as cupboards. Made a little flower here in like a little glass flower pot. Ugh. And uh, we've got a little table and chairs. You can sit down, eat off the plate. Oh, enough for two of us. Or you and somebody else. Who else have you been having here? No, it's just me and you. I designed it with you in mind, Lizzie. Oh, uh, well... <laughs> I didn't design mine with you in mind. <laughs> I also made this little vase in the corner as well, which has no use. It, it's a vase. And then we don't actually have a basement, but we do have a little upstairs. You can climb up this little ladder here to the top room, which Aww. is my bedroom. We've got a little alarm clock on the side, lamps, bookshelves with some books in it, a PC for browsing the internet, of course, and a nice modern bed with a picture of me and you of it. It's beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. There's more storage in these things as well. And yes, you can bounce on the bed if you want. <laughs> I discovered the secret. So is there a winner to this challenge? No, there's no winner. It's just like a nice little comparison to see what you can do with modded and what you can do with vanilla. And those started out at the same houses. I feel like we have both achieved completely different builds at the end, which is awesome. Yeah, especially because you basically built something entirely different. Do you not recognize? Like, this is, I didn't actually change the shape of the house apart from I added this bigger bit of. Oh, so you kept this. This is all shape. the same. The shape oh, is all the mean. same. You even kept the placement of the windows. Yeah, the windows are all in the same place. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy this little fun video. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you did. And also subscribe to me and subscribe to Lizzie. Our things will be on the screen now. That's it for this video. Goodbye from me and goodbye from Lizzie. Right, Lizzie? Cool. <laughs>